Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Elise and I'm so excited because today we are going to be doing a little unboxing. As you can tell by the title of this video, it is an Apple Watch Series 10. Oh my God, I can't believe we've got a 10 now. I have been rocking my Series 3 for many, many years and it has been so good to me, but I think it's time to upgrade. She's served me well, she does all the basics, but now it's time for a little bit of a glow up. I'm looking forward to trying out some of the newest features and just to have a different look. As you can see, I've got the black one here and I really like the black one. I was a little bit hesitant about trying something different this is because this just goes with everything but I have got something a little bit different. I'm going to go the rose gold with the neutral straps so something else that I think that will go with a lot of my outfits but something a bit different. When, I, when they did the announcement and I saw all the colours I did really like the black one but I just thought we've been there done that it's time for something new. So. We've got our little order off Amazon. I ordered it two days ago. It came yesterday and I've been dying to open it, but I wanted to do the unboxing with you guys. I wanted to share this experience with you. So I held off until we've got some natural lighting and my son is taking a nap. So let's um, check it out together. Amazon do good packaging too. Let's give it up for them. Okay. Ooh. I mean, Apple always do well with their packaging. Clean, simple, very minimalistic. I love it. So we've got a couple of pull tabs here. And let's check it out. So we've got the 42 millimeter watch face here and I think this is going to be a bigger screen than my last one. And then we've also got the packaging as well as the power cable. Okay, so we've got the braided cable here which is really nice. That is something that I didn't have with my Series 3 but a nice welcome design. Of course the paperwork. And that's all that comes inside this box. Let's check out the strap. Okay, so I have the light blush sports band here and I think this will look really nice with the rose gold. And this color is divine. It's so clean. It's got the, the slightest bit of pink to it. I love the feel of the sports bands. They just feel so nice. Okay, I think that's everything in the box. See if we can wiggle it out. I think we might need to just take her out. And there she is in all her glory. I'm already noticing how so much slimmer and lighter she is. And she already wants to pair up, so let's get her set up. I'm really loving this shade of gold. It's just like almost like a bit champagne-ish, like a really slight hint. So this is the color of the aura ring. And as you can see, I'm very much lighter rose gold, but still stunning. So we've got the two different uh, sides of the watch. Clip. Fantastic. I can't wait to try it on. Oh yes, I can definitely see a bigger difference in the size. I was contemplating on whether to get the neck size up for the bigger screen, but because I've got small wrists, I was like, mm, do I, don't know, I don't want it to look ridiculous on my arm. That's going to look really nice. I love this watch band. So here's a bit of a comparison to my Series 3. I'm so happy out with this colour. I mean, she's just stunning. My poor Series 3 looks 
so outdated compared to this, but she's done well. She's done a good job, so I'm not hating. She did good. And here's the new impressive sleek number 10. I'm really happy with this size. I think this is the perfect one to match my needs and the way it looks on my wrist. I think it just looks amazing. And I'm really excited for the always on display screen. So no more like really obvious flicking of my wrist to see the time and having all the notifications and everything on a brighter screen, a lot clearer screen. I'm really excited for this. So let's pair this up. I want to see all the different watch faces that I can get. I've paired the basic one for the longest time and I'm ready to see what is new. So I've got my iPhone here and I'm just going to try to connect that up now. So up on my screen, We've got the notification to say to connect, so let's continue. All right, so now I can set the watch up for myself. Okay, so that was super easy. I just followed all the prompts on the phone and it's just syncing all my data now. So that should be done really soon. I can just see up on the screen. It's just ticking away, doing what it does. I'm really excited to try the double tap feature. I know that was on last year's series, but I've never tried that before. And I'm always like when I'm in the kitchen that or I don't really want to touch the screen. Using that double tap feature is going to be game changing. And all of the health tracking features at the moment I'm expecting. So I'm not doing anything too crazy at the moment with my exercise. But, but after the pregnancy and when I'm feeling my best, then I will be getting back into my fitness game. And this is just definitely going to be the tool that I need to get me motivated. So... I'm looking forward to tracking that. And I'm also looking forward to a longer battery life. This one's going quite well. It gets me through the day, so um, I usually charge it at night. But this one says that it's supposed to be able to charge 80% in about 30 minutes. So that's gonna be really helpful when I'm just like getting ready or something and I just need to do a quick charge on the go because I would like to try wearing this at night just to see what it's like. I do have the aura ring, but um, it'd be interesting to see if there's any differences just to do like a little comparison So I'm not sure if this is going to be my all the time device I wear at night But I definitely love wearing the aura ring at night It's just you don't really notice that you're wearing it when you're sleeping so but this is super light and I think I could get used to this too And here we are all set up ready to go Okay, so she's all set up now and I am loving the display. It is so different to my last one. I'm just gonna have to show you a comparison because this is crazy. All right, so there's just a comparison of the two screens and the Series 10 is just looking mightier, bigger, the screen real estate. You can't tell so much because of the black. And here is just another comparison. This watch is also able to detect sleep apnea. Not that I think that I have it, but it's also a nice health feature. So if that's something that you are interested in, this might be the watch for you. Um, if you're thinking of upgrading to this watch from one of the good old series three, then I definitely would recommend an upgrade because just the screen size and the, all the different features that it offers is definitely a big jump. There she is, she's looking lovely. I'm really looking forward to playing around with the settings and seeing 
all the different capabilities of this watch. So I'll definitely give you an update in an upcoming videos. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a new video. My husband doesn't have an Apple Watch, so I'm gonna see if he'll test out my Series 3 for a little while, see if he likes it, and then we might twin with a series 10s so let me know in the comments if you are upgrading to the series 10 or what series that you are currently on are you a fellow series 3 this is a 38 millimeter and this is a 42 so and my son has just woken up from his nap so that's my cue to jump back into mummy mode so i'm gonna just have to say goodbye to you guys i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video give us a big thumbs up if you like today's unboxing video and hope to see you all again soon Take care. Bye.